What's up guys, Tech 2010 Mania here and we've just finished the unboxing of the DDR2 RAM from Crucial.com and now we're about to start the installation. So we'll come over here and we'll see if we've got the computer that we're going to be installing the RAM into. Now this is a Dell Inspiron 530 I think and it already has one gigabyte of pre-installed RAM and it's two 512 megabyte sticks so that's going to fill all four slots and all together we're going to have three gigs. Okay, so it's very complicated in there as you can see. And um, we have a 2 GHz dual core processor by Intel and um, an ATI Radeon X1300 um, for the video card with 256 megs of memory. Um, so we're going to start by installing one stick. Now when you're installing RAM, if you have differing memory values, you want to make sure to install the biggest memory in the first and third slot. Now the first one should be close to the processor. Um, and the third one is, well, the third one away. And then install the lowest values in the second and fourth slot. So let's go ahead and start installation. So making sure not to scratch the pins on the end. I'm going to get this right in here. And just make sure get it in there right. And make sure you get it the correct way around as well, otherwise you may end up damaging the pins. And that's never good. So I'll apply a little bit of pressure to get these pins to slot in. And you'll should, you should hear it click in place if we do it right. So, yep, yeah, there's one in place and the other. So, now for the second stick, let's go ahead and get this out of the box and put this in as well. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, so this is going in the third slot and the other one went in the first slot. So again, do the same thing with the pins, apply a little bit of pressure until you hear it click in place. Okay, so there we go. Now we have 3 gigs of RAM. And this was from crucial Crucial.com. So go check them out if you're thinking about upgrading some memory. Works for DDR1, DDR2 and DDR3. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'm going to get this cover back on now. Okay, we're back now with a 2 gig of RAM installed into the computer and all the wires plugged in. Now, my friend... Phil is going to test it and see if it all is up and running. Okay, so it all seems good so far. Just pull the keyboard and mouse out. I've got all my peripherals plugged in. Okay, so here we go. And then we'll navigate down to Windows 7. Okay, so as you can see, it started perfectly fine. And now, if you right click on computer and go to system properties, you should see that we have 3 gigabytes of installed memory, um, or RAM as you can call it. So, yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys. It's been a video by Tech2010 Mania. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one.